Well, indeed, Noel, we did have an incredible sighting this morning. So it was pretty cool to see because we haven't really been able to spend much time with this Hukumuri male. So for those of you who don't know who Hukumuri is, Hukumuri male is a male that's just arrived on the scene and has come into the area, particularly around Elephant Plain, Simambili, Arethusa. And he seems to have kind of set himself up there a little bit between Tingana and where Anderson are roaming about and, and for some reason it's just kind of managed to get in there without either of them really putting up too much of a fight at this stage. And so what he's been doing is he's been mating there, he's been kind of carrying on doing his thing and he all of a sudden this morning pitched up out of nowhere a treehouse dam and he was salivating heavily so he had streams of saliva coming out, his nose was about that far from the ground everywhere he went and it seemed like he was on the tracks of another leopard. The way that he was salivating was as though he had come across maybe another male's tracks or maybe he was tracking a female, I don't know, but he was really interested in what he was doing and he was going up and down Treehouse Dam round and round and round and so that's why this afternoon it's been really difficult to find out exactly where he's gone because there's so many tracks for him around the dam that it's difficult to work out which ones are the freshest ones. I think I found the freshest ones but unfortunately they go to the water and then the elephants have absolutely destroyed any sign around the water hole itself so I can't really see where he's gone from there but I can tell you one thing is that that male is a scary looking fella so we had him on this termite mound and I'll show you a picture now shortly of him and he was sitting there and he was looking big and bulky and the saliva coming out and he's got these very penetrating eyes with this kind of scar on the right side and I tell you what he was looking quite ominous that's for sure now Justin I honestly don't know how old this leopard is I, I, I don't think he's very young at all and the reason why I say that is because He's got a few kind of scars on him, he's got a few sort of cuts in his ears and so he's not a leopard that I would think is a young individual. I might be wrong, I might be, you know, he might have just had a really tough upbringing but I don't see him as an individual that has really kind of got into a situation where he's, you know, been around for only a short period of time. I think he's been around for a while. Now I was saying that I'll show you what he looks like so give me two seconds because I do have a picture with me. He really is an impressive individual so here we go. Now that's what he looks like so you can see he's got quite a serious face you can see that big kind of black marking underneath the eye that I was talking about these like orangish eyes and then you see the saliva that was coming down at the bottom here he was just dripping and the whole termite mound where he was sitting was just getting wet with all the saliva that was coming out and he was really relaxed um, I mean considering he sat like this for a while and then we followed him for the better part of about 45 minutes without him even so much as caring about us we did keep it to just two vehicles because we were just concerned and it, it definitely uh, if there was two vehicles around he was a little bit more cagey but with one vehicle he was absolutely fine so hopefully we're going to find him this afternoon he's a he's a f interesting looking fella and i'm really curious as to who he was tracking this morning was he tracking shadow and cub was he tracking hosana was he tracking tundi was he tracking ingrid dam female or shadulu female who we had the other day who knows i don't know there's tracks for females all over the place there's tracks for males all over the place and so we'll just have to try and find him now sarah you wondering if there's any any update on Tingana? No. So I haven't heard any single updates from Tingana since he was lying under those bushes for the for that two day period. I know he was seen walking off but since then I haven't heard a single update about him. I will try and find out and I will try and ask what's going on but I don't think anyone has actually seen him which is a bit worrying and that's maybe why this male is starting to push into this area and starting to try and kind of take over. It's concerning though because obviously Shadow's Cub, Tundi's Cub, they're all at risk if this male does come in. Right, well while we try and find him and try and see where he's gone, let's send you back across to Scott who's on the trail of one of the leopards I just mentioned in the form of Tundi. Right, now we're still on the lookout for this leopard. So far no real luck that I can speak of. I've done the southern fire break and just to check if he didn't maybe cross south I can't see anything. It's not to say that he didn't. The fire break is quite narrow and so very difficult to drive and see the tracks without actually kind of squashing them before you even see them. So I don't know if he is still here but it doesn't look like he's crossed south which is good news. 
So Joy, who's from Hong Kong. Joy, you want to know where this new leopard has come from? Well, Joy, this is the thing is no one actually knows where he comes from. So his whole name and where he comes from is all a bit of a confusion and it's, it's a bit of a shame because they've misidentified him and therefore he's been given this name, the Hukumuri male, even though he isn't actually from that area. Now, I'll tell you how it all goes went about, but basically, there's an area to the west of us, far west, so west of Elephant Plains, in an area called Ottawa. Now, Ottawa is a section of Singita that Singita traverses, um, and in that Ottawa area is a drainage line. So, much like the Mulawati, it's called the Hukumuri drainage. What it means, I don't actually know, to be honest with you, but anyway, the Hukumuri is the drainage, and there's a female that hangs around there known as the Hukumuri female. Now, she has a son, and for a few weeks or months, I don't know, people believe that this male that we're seeing now was her son, but the spot patterns don't match, so this male has actually been misidentified as the Hukumuri male, but by then, he had been so well known as that that it was very difficult to now change the name so and as as well as the fact that the Hukumuri female son is no longer really being seen no one has seen him for a while and so they've just stuck with this name like I say I'm not sure I'm 100% with it but at the end of the day it is what it is and so we just kind of deal with it and we carry on but he that's where the name comes from and where he come thought to have come from but he has not so he's not actually, you know, from that area, but that's where the name comes from. Now, Elimintani, you were wondering about that name and why he got the name or, or how, what the name means. Like I say, I'm not 100% sure on the meaning. Of, I had a little dyka there, but it's now run away. Um, so I'm not 100% sure on the meaning. Maybe we'll ask James. We'll try and find out if James knows, because James obviously is very good with this. I don't know if Scott knows either, because Scott obviously was at Singita as well at the same time I was there. And he remembers the Hukumuri drainage, but he doesn't remember quite what it meant either so either of us don't really know and, and like I say that's where he, he's believed to have come from but actually it's not and so we don't know where he is he might have come from Kruger and hence why he's as skittish as he was when he first arrived the first few times people were seeing him he tended to move away quite quickly and not really be allowing vehicles to come too close so that could be why you know he is the way that he is difficult to say we don't we don't really know 100% sure where he is where from what his age is or anything like that so Debbie you wondering why an old uh, territorial male would leave his territory or established area well it's quite simple Debbie it's because of pressure from others or a situation where there's more desirable um, areas that he can go and take over so when you start out as a young male generally if you look at Hosanna for example he's kind of going in a very small area he's not moving around very far at all he's kind of bouncing around in those areas and and that's kind of where he roams as he gets older so he's going to try and push and push and push and try and expand to include better places more areas trying to get a better sort of access to females and water and food and so that's why they'll move as to if he had an established territory that was already big well he could have had a situation like Tingana had where Anderson came in Anderson being a bigger leopard than what Tingana is comes in and then causes him to be pushed out and, and forced into a new area where he has to go and so Anderson came Tingana pushed and they ended up like this and, and pushing Mvula out so it does happen even to territorial leopards now I'll show you what his track size looks like shortly because his tracks are right here so this is where we had him this morning I followed him around this area so I'll show you now what his tracks look like and we have done quite a few tracks of Tingana and the various other males in this area and so it will be nice just to give you a comparison of what his foot size is so the track that I'm talking about is this one over here you can see the toes very clearly in this deep sand and then the nice sort of three lobes at the back and the, and the triangular pad that most leopards have. Now I'm going to put my hand there for an indication of his track size. His track to me is not the biggest. I have seen bigger than that. So Tingana's to me is bigger and so funny enough is Tumba's. Tumba I've seen his tracks in this exact same area as well as Hosanna's and both of them 
tend to be a little bit bigger than what you see here. So even though he's quite a bulky leopard, his feet, funny enough, are not that big. Now, his tracks from here, they went all the way across the dam. He went up away from the dam, but then the fresh tracks come back down the road, back to the dam itself to drink. So I'm going to try and see if maybe he's not in this drainage section that runs off the dam. I think maybe he got chased off by some ellies because there were lots of elephants that drank here. We saw some of the bulls during the school drive playing around. And I think maybe, just maybe, he's found himself a shady spot not too far from the dam to have a nice rest. So that's my plan, is to try and just head in here and just follow the drainage along and see if I can find him somewhere in this general vicinity. I might get, not have any luck, but it's worth a shot. Now, I don't need to get off the vehicle just yet, Nick, so you're more than welcome to fire away with another question that you may have. Kobe, who's 15 years old, wants to know whether I think Hukumuri male might have bumped into Tingana and they fought and that's why Tingana is either off hiding or is not feeling very well under the weather. Possible. Um, I don't know for sure without actually seeing them bump into one another, difficult to say. The thing is about Tingana is that he could have bumped into a number of different leopards. It could have been this Hukumuri male, he could have bumped into Quarantine, he could have bumped into this Umfokazi male. Now some of you won't know who Umfokazi is, but Umfokazi is a male that gets seen on Biffle's Hook and has been seen on Simambili recently. He's also an older male and so he might have bumped into him. He might have bumped into, who else is around? Shivambalana, you never know. He might have come out of nowhere. So there's a number of different options that Tingana could have got himself into a bit of strife with. And then there's also not ruling out maybe a lioness or something like that. So at this stage, I don't really know what happened to him. I don't think we will know because obviously it's difficult unless you actually see it. It's all just surmising and we can't really say for sure. Right, now I'm going to follow this little pathway through. There's a nice big termite mound here with some shade. I'm going to check there, see if he's not lying up somewhere in this area. And while we do that, let's send you back to Scott and see if he's having a little bit more luck than I am with Tundi.